Okay, hi there, welcome uh, to a micro video where we're going to introduce for a few minutes the, the three ways in which business revenue can be measured. Total, average and marginal revenue. Quick recap, what do we mean by business revenue? Well, it's the income that flows to a business over a given time period, be it a month, a quarter, perhaps a year, the income or the revenue flowing into a business from selling the goods and services in markets that they have produced. And revenue is also known as turnover. So first of all, total revenue. How do we calculate total revenue? Well, total revenue is simply the price per unit multiplied by the quantity. So if we're selling, for example, 200 pizzas per week, five pounds per pizza, that would give us a revenue of £1,000 a week. Price per unit times by quantity. Another word for price per unit is average revenue. Here's a little example. Uh, the price goes down, demand is increasing by 50 units. It's a linear demand curve. So for every £2 reduction in price from 20 to 18, demand increases by uh, 50 units. You can probably calculate the revenues yourself. Um, here's, here's the data. So we sell 200 units at £20, gives us a revenue of £4,000. If we lower the price to 18, we sell 50 more. So 250 times by 18 is 4,500. You can see what happens to the total revenue of the business. The second concept is average revenue. Revenue per unit. And as I've just said, the revenue per unit is also known as the price per unit. We simply take the total revenue, divide by the output, TR divided by Q for output, we get price per unit. Well, in fact, the price per unit is basically the demand price relationship. So the average revenue concept and curve is the same as the demand curve. So on the left hand column there from the table before, I've just put in average revenue, same as price per unit. So the first column is average revenue, the second column is the demand at a given price, the third column there is the total revenue price times by quantity. Okay, the third concept in this video is marginal revenue. Well, what is marginal revenue? Well, it's the, the change in a firm's total revenue from selling one extra unit of a good or a service in a market. So if you, you have an extra unit you sell, what's the impact on the total revenue of the firm? Let's go back to our table, our example. So we're cutting the price by two pounds per unit and demand's going up by 50 units. Let's take the first example here when we cut the price from 20 to 18. Our revenue goes up by 500. Look at column three. We've sold an extra 50 units. So we're getting 10 extra pounds per extra unit sold. Hopefully that makes sense. We've sold an extra 50 units. We've added 500 pounds to revenue. So our marginal revenue is 10 pounds. Now, if we cut the price from 18 pounds to 16 pounds, again, we sell an extra 50 units. But this time, our revenue only goes up by £300. So our marginal revenue this time is only 6 We're getting some extra revenue, but we're only going to get £6 of extra revenue per unit sold. The next price cut from £16 to 14 we add £100 to our revenue, goes up from £4,800 to £4,900, uh, divided by 50. We're only getting £2 extra from each unit sold. Of course, the reason is we're having to cut the price by £2 on average to sell the extra 50 units. Now, thinking ahead, you should be able to calculate what's going to happen here to marginal revenue if we now cut the price from 14 to 12. What's going to happen? Well, revenue, of course, goes down, goes down by £100. So now we've lost £100 of revenue from selling those extra 50 units, giving a marginal revenue of minus two. Fairly symmetrical table. 
March revenue remains negative. Our revenues are now going down. Of course, the reason is to sell those extra units, we're having to cut the price to a very low level, £10, £8, etc. So because average revenue on the left-hand side is going down, the marginal revenue is also falling. In fact, it's falling more steeply. If you can visualise that, we'll come into the diagrams in another video. So when does a business maximise their total revenue? This is a really important uh, little idea to get a hold of, particularly as some people think that maximising revenue is a realistic alternative to maximising profit. Well, a business maximises revenue when the marginal revenue from the next unit of a good or service sold is zero when marginal revenue is zero. Here's a little example, another example, just to change things up a bit to show what this means. So on the left-hand side, we have average revenue, AR, price per unit. Second column is how many units you sell. And as you can see, if every £10 fall in the price, we sell an extra two units. So it's a linear demand curve. Multiply column one by column two, you get total revenue. And you can see that we maximise revenue at a price of 80 and at 70. For both those prices, our total revenue is £1,120. Now let's think about the cutting the price from 100 to 90. Does that help the firm? Well, the answer is yes. They sell extra two units. Their revenue goes up by £80. For the extra two units sold, that gives 40 marginal revenue, £40 per extra unit. Positive increase in revenue. Again, cutting the price from 90 to 80, we get an extra 40 units of revenue for those two units sold, giving an extra two units of £20, 20 pounds per extra unit sold. So here's the key point. As long as marginal revenue is positive, if you cut the price, your total revenue will go up. But notice when we cut the price from 80 to 70, yes, we sell two extra units, but our revenue stays the same. So you maximise your revenue when the marginal revenue is zero. And of course, if you were to cut the price again by £10 to £60, OK, we'd sell two extra units, but our revenue would go down by £40, a marginal revenue of minus 20 so we've been through three concepts in this video, total, average and marginal revenue using some numerical examples. Uh, the key takeaway point is that businesses looking to maximise their total revenue should set a price where the marginal revenue is zero. Thank you.